Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another, well, unplanned instalment on the Mark 1 TT. Now let me just show you, just show you what it's doing, or what it's not doing. Nothing, look, absolutely nothing. Got the ignition on, not having any of it. So this thing really is the gift that keeps on giving. So I was out driving in it yesterday and the window wipers, I actually thought they were getting better because it, this car struggles with really slow window wipers. It's like that. It's, it's laborious and painful. Now, this, it sped up yesterday. I thought, hallelujah, happy days. Like, it's working properly for once. And then all of a sudden, no, it just stopped. Smack in the middle of the screen. Now, I've looked up online, as most people do, and I think it's the earth contacts on the motor that's probably gummed up and gone, or it's not got a great, a great connection inside. So we're going to strip the motor out and sort the contacts out. Hopefully, get it back up and running. So first things first, we need to remove the little caps off where the nuts are for the wiper arms. And then we're going to need this more than that. Say probably a 15. Yeah, 15 mil to get on there. Still running this broken ratchet, got this back to Halfords. Right. Let's crack that off. So we're just going to back these nuts off, then we can remove the wiper arm itself. These look like they've never been off. So I'll give these a little bit of a spray with some penetrating fluid. If there's any left, come on. There we go. A little bit left in the can. Okay, so we've got the one off. It's a case of take the nuts off, grab it and wiggle it. And hopefully it'll come loose. Now, if it doesn't budge, you want to kind of start manoeuvring it round and get it so it's sitting flat and just try pulling up on it. It'll eventually, it's not sitting level there. If I put a bit of pressure on it, I should be able to start levering it up, hopefully. So that should be about level. There we go. That's just popped off. Right, these are the nuts. So I'll pop them back on here. We don't lose them. Threads need a bit of a clean up. Old. Right, now what we need to do is start removing the scuttle panel. We should just pull away, remove that. And we should just be able to lift and pull the scuttle panel away. Like so. There's a wiring harness which goes into it. Underneath here. And the water feed for the, the washers. You can't see this, but I'll show you in a second. What's that connector off?
some of these connectors are just brittle. So there's two electrical connectors which come off the, the scuttle panel. And then underneath there, there's a tube which is fed from the, the washers. So you just pull that one done. And that's the scuttle off. Ah, lovely. It's like a spider infestation here. Amazing. So there'll be three bolts. Right. So pay attention to these rubber pieces. These need to go back on the spindles as they are there with the cutouts. Um, so we're going to leave the bolts on stop hours coming off. We need to undo that bolt, that bolt. There's a bolt in here on the mechanism we need to undo. There are 10 mil. So that's that one there. There. I'm just going to loosen this one. They're not tight bolts, they're only loose. So now we should, in theory, be able to back these out and remove the washer motor. Two. Let's go this one down here again. That's three. And the wiper motor then comes loose. So we can then start to pull it out with all the spiders. There's a wiring harness that comes with it on the bottom here. So if we squeeze that clip up, I should easily just pop out. Just using a screwdriver just to pry it out a little. Don't want to damage the connector. There we go. So that is the wiper motor and assembly completely out. Now there are four clips on the back. So we've just undone them. And that will allow us to start prying this back cover off. Again, we just want to pry and push. We can pry this other one off. There we go. That is some kind of gasket silicon seal in there so the issue in question is that little contact there and that needs to touch that little tab there so we're going to give this a good clean up all looks relatively good inside the motor plenty of grease in there i will wax some more grease in just in case um, but we're going to go over to give these a nice tidy up some electrical cleaner and retention the points and i'll put it back together hopefully We've got window wipers. Now hopefully you can see here, we've tidied the points up. We've bent that little connector up a little bit. You can see it's got like a, a bit of an arc burn in it, where it's had a poor connection. But anyway, we're going to give this a thorough clean out of some electrical contact cleaner. So it's like new. And I recommend you do this anyway. Don't wait for yours to break because they all break eventually. But we're just going to bend them up a little bit so make a better contact. Bend that one up a little bit. Give it all clean out. And if that works, what I will do is I've got some instant gasket seal. I'll actually go back, run a bead of the gasket seal around the cap before I refit it to the motor. Right, that cap has clipped back on there. As I say, it's not sealed at the minute, but I will... I'll silicon seal it or gasket seal it before I put it back permanently. Now what I want to do is clip this back in and we're going to check to see how freely the arms move. Which will tell us how gunked up the motor is. Is that a one way? Yep. There we go. We'll give that a bit of a spray as well when we refit it. But for now, hopefully, 
that should allow me just lift it out here just to test that see whether that kicks in so here goes nothing There we go. That's actually not moving too badly. So, what I'm going to do is give this a quick spray down, some penetrating fluid at all the points. Let that run for a minute and see if that speeds up. So that's full speed. That's one down. That's off. First speed. Intermittent, sorry. First speed. Second speed. That's it. And what I will do is, I've got some spray grease. I'll go get some of that and just spray it in all the joints. So I've got some lithium spray. I'm just going to get in and spray all the points, or well, friction points really. Right, so now what I'm going to do now is just start the motors back up again, let them run for a little bit, let it work that grease in. So they're moving a bit faster now. I think they seem to be moving a bit quicker now. I'll just leave them to run a minute whilst they're running. Again, we'll just get in there. This stuff goes everywhere, but it's brilliant. And then in the tops here, I'm going to get in and spray them seals. Lovely. Now what I'm going to do is pop that cover back off, get some instant gasket on it, put it all back together, get it back in. Here we go back in with the bolts. It goes up that way. Now, the electrical connectors on the scuttle panel are these bad boys here. These are for the heated washers, by the look of it. We don't need heated washers where we live. Surely. Well, I don't think it matters which way around they go, because they're both the same kind of feed. But, pop the pipe in. You're not going to see this bit. Okay, so scuttle panel's damaged. It's got a hole here, so I'm gonna have to change that anyway. So if anyone's got any scuttle panels going, let me know. But effectively, you just pop that panel back into the groove on the windscreen. We'll just blow the windscreen. Like that. Just make sure it's in all the way along. And then it's a case of putting our wipers back on in the lowest position. Let's so back these bolts off. They should sit about there. You can tell from the existing marks on the windscreen where the wipers usually come to a rest. When they're at the bottom. So that's that one. I 
and we're back in for this one. Again, you can see there, look that line across there, where the wipers usually sit. So what you have to do is roughly line it up, bend the wiper up to get that onto the thread. Position it where you want it to be, and do these nuts back up. Again, back on with 13 mil, just tighten these down so they don't slip. Don't need to be overly tight. Right, now, before we pop the caps back in, give that a little whirl and try the washers. Oh, look. I think the washers have actually run out, so. There we go, lovely. Now we've just got the scuttle panel rubber. Let's go back on. This can be a bit fiddly, but well, usually a bit of brute force and ignorance. It'll go back on. I've had this off a few times in the past to run wires and everything else. There we go. Feed it along. And jobs are good. Now we've just got to refit the caps on the wipers. These can be awkward as well. Best thing to do is just put them on and get your palm on them and just push them home. There we go. Now look how quick and wipers are running now compared to how they used to. So I think it's well worth guys, just get, get in, dive in, get this done, it's worth it. Just give it a grease up, make sure your contacts are good and look, you'll have proper window wipers. So there we are guys, that's how to fix your window wipers for free. So I hope that was useful, if it helps you out, give us a like, give us a subscribe, share it with your friends. Catch you guys on the next one.